From Slide Nerd, this is Weaves. What's up guys? How are you guys doing today? Have you ever heard the word validation? You ask the guy to enter his age and he says minus 25. What are you gonna do about it? Are you gonna take that age and, and process it? Oh, of course not. So, in this program, we are gonna see how to validate stuff. We are gonna ask the user to enter a number and make sure that he cannot enter a negative number. So let's go ahead and see how this is done. So you have your number over here. There are two things which are possible. The user enters a positive number or he enters a negative number or he enters zero. Of course, that's the third thing. If he enters a positive number or zero, just stop. But if he enters a negative number, keep asking. And when you say keep asking, it means you use some kind of loop, right? That's exactly what it means. Keep torturing the guy, keep asking him. So let's go ahead and see how that's done. So here is what you have. You have this filter, this green color thing, which is going to allow only a positive number to go through it. And you have our dear old user who is going to enter some number. If he puts minus 5, let's see what the filter does. Filter is very clever. It's not going to take minus 5. It's going to throw it out like that. But if he enters a number positive 5, it's going to go straight through it. So let's th think about the logic, how that goes. If the user enters a negative number, you gotta keep telling him, enter the number, keep it positive. If he enters negative, again you say, enter the number, keep it positive. And you do this as long as number is less than zero. That means you put this inside a while loop and say, while number less than zero, enter the number, keep it positive. So I'm using that beans over here. I have an empty file, which has nothing but your buffered reader for taking input and a println statement. I ask the user, enter a number and I'll declare a variable called number no of type integer. We are not going to talk about float right now. So simply use reader.readline to take an input. But remember, reader.readline is string. So we use integer.parse int function to convert from string to integer. I hope you guys are familiar by that with that by now. So next, I enter a while loop, number less than zero. Now this while loop will run only as long as the number is negative. If the number is positive, there is no need for that, right? So, in short, in the while loop, I'll say, keep entering a positive number. Dude, I need a positive number. So, I'll say reader.readline again. Ooh, wait a second. Why am I doing that? I can copy paste stuff using the fine art of control C, control V. So, let me go ahead and do that. So, at this point, I have the value for the number. Then, we'll run it, enter a number. I'll say minus 2. It'll keep asking me because it's inside the while loop. So as long as I don't enter something positive, this keeps asking, hey, enter the number, enter the number, enter the number. But if I enter a positive number like 15, it's done. Bam. So I hope you guys understood something out of this. I hope you like what you saw. Please subscribe to my channel. I would love to hear from you guys. Comment. Let me know your thoughts. I'm there. So I'll catch you guys later. Have a nice day. See you later.